Oh, oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Leave the meeting. I <laughs> should <laughs> 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 all this time. <laughs> Can we do that? Everyone look off into the distance. Hey, y'all. Okay. How y'all doing today? I know we talked about. Okay, Flo, are you with us? All right. I know we talked about a lot of things last week, and, and I have some updates for y'all. Okay. Donna, as we know, is still on leave and she will not be back today. Okay. Now, I have seen Donna. In fact, I I've been staying with her. We've been staying together. Okay. Since we left the conference call last week. Okay. I'm not supposed to say much because I do want to respect her right to the privacies and such. And, and y'all help me do that much. Okay. All right. I do, however, want to thank y'all for, for these lovely gifts you've been sending and, and that you've sent these to share your heart warmth and a little helping hand through some tragic times, okay? And Flo, this, this secondhand basket, you ordered the secondhand basket, it's out of my reach, but you send in a little secondhand basket in the mail. It's just so precious, okay? You know what, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's clear you spent a lot of time working on it and I just appreciate you for that, making this happen. Oh, Quinn, tell Donna, you're welcome for me, please. She's always deserved a secondhand style basket. And I just never had the right occasion to make one for her. So I'm hoping this will bring the life I'm sure she needs right now. Well, thank you so much for that flow. I will be sure to relay the message, okay? And I'm sure that whenever she figures out how she'll be wearing these little pieces all up and down the streets and at the office, okay? Anyway, like I said, I appreciate you and, and Chuck, your, your gifts were really special, okay? I knew, I, I mean, blue, blue tortilla chips, okay? Let me, let me, let me pull these out, because I, I, I trip up when I say these things. Like, these aren't, these aren't uh, natural to me. These are very special, okay? We got blue tortilla chips in the house, all right? And then we got some, some of these peanut butter, peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, all right? We've been eating a lot of these, okay? We ate a lot of these, it was very good. All right, now I knew you were a fierce evangelist of the, of the Chips Ahoy and the Lay's original chips, but I had no idea that you knew about any of the other food snacks that are out there. Oh, that is indeed right, Mr. Quinn. I don't normally eat other snack foods, but uh, I am very well versed in the world of snacks. And when I found out Donna had a husband last week, I knew immediately to pick up those salted pretzel bits with the dusty peanut butter chunks in the middle. You know, when I watched her confessional, I wasn't quite sure about this Richard character, but last week's meeting really put things in perspective. And then when I learned that he died, I had to go back to my notes and I realized that the most important thing Miss Donna should be eating right now is the blue tortilla chip. Mm. Because it really touches all the, the, the pain points, you know? It's starchy, it's salty, and best of all, it's blue. I'm starting to think that she should have been eating this snack food all along. Well, like I said, thank you so much, Chuck. And I think we can go ahead and- Quinn, 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 can I say something real quick? Just a quick question before we move on. Sure thing, Flo, what's on your mind? So I'm hearing a lot about these salty snacks and I just wanna make sure we remember to balance our meal plans. Our bodies are sacred temples, and it's important to take care of them as best as we can. Life is short, and you never know when your time is up. Okay, Flo, thank you for sharing your beliefs with this team. Okay, I, I would say it's a bit difficult the discussion about untimely death, seeing as how little Richard just was snatched up on out of his little life, okay, the other day. But, but I can see where you're coming from and I appreciate your heart, okay? Now, I also wanna check in and share some of my appreciation with you, Dusty. Donna and I have received, okay, I have some, I wanted to keep these things nearby because I knew we were getting on this call today. Donna and I have received your bowl of chili in the mail, okay? And I wanted you to know that it has been received, okay? Well, howdy there, sir. I do appreciate the confirmation. Um, did you get the coupon book as well? It was supposed to arrive as a package. After all, everyone needs a little dustiness in their life. 
if you know what I mean. You know what? Come to think of it, there was a little booklet with some coupons left in it. Uh, to be completely honest, I, I thought it was a safety feature. Laws. Well, you can tell Donna that I'm hoping the absolute best for her during this time. And if she should desire another bowl of that, Shelly. You just tell her to give me a call, okay? And I'll give her my phone number, sir. I don't have the car right now, see, because it broke down while I was riding it last time. But if anything, I can ride my bike over there. Yeah, but I got one of them recumber bicycles on hand. You dig? Well, I'll be. I don't know that she'll be ready for another bowl of chili just yet, Dusty. A lot of people have been sending over big bowl, big bowls of, of food and baskets full of, well, more food all week long. And, and I think she might not be ready for some of that hot junkyard chili. Maybe not until the summer's over, if you know what I mean, okay? And I appreciate you for everything that you're doing. I want you to know that you're being sweet, seen, okay? And we see everything that you're doing for me and my sweet. Sounds good to me, sir. And when she's ready for that bass, she can give me a call. I'll be waiting. All right. All right, well, that sounds like a plan, okay? Now, before I get into the push pin of why we're here today, I did want to go ahead and share some of the lovely gestures of our other friends. They've been making some really sweet gestures, and I want to read some of the notes they've been sending in, okay? Y'all remember our star content producer, Diana? Well, who am I kidding? Of course you do remember her. Anywho, she wrote a little note for our Donna that I'd like to read for y'all, okay? Now, again, I can't replicate her accent, so I'll just speak in my own voice, okay? Okay, okay, well, here it goes. <clears throat> Hello, Donna, it's Diana here. I was real sorry to hear about what happened to your husband and everything, but I gotta say, I really hope you learned something from all of this, you know? Now, I know things didn't necessarily end on great terms with us, but it's important to me that you hear me when I say this, all right? I know about your little situation with Quinn on the side, and I just want you to understand that what you've been doing is not right. I don't mean to be harsh or anything like that, but you, you just gotta know that something has got to change, girl. I can't imagine what you're going through right now, but I can imagine you're probably feeling quite a bit of remorse for your behavior. Now, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to tell you that I think you can do better, be better, you know? I mean, why so angry and hateful all the time? I just don't get it, I just don't get it. You got a great team and a great life that you should be thankful for and don't take for granted that people over at the office, that they look up to you. Long story short, hon, you just got to do a better job of being there for other people, yeah? Appreciate all that you got because this life is just too short, you know. Don't waste your time being bitter, okay? I hope you take something away from this and I hope you take the time to heal from all this. That's all I've really got, Diana. Again, y'all, <clears throat> not much I can do about the accent, okay? You're just going to have to use your little imagine, imagination stations with this one. And, of course, Jolene, our amazing customer representative, Jolene Lovely, she sent in a little something, and it just says, Hi there, Donna. It's Jolene. Let me just start by saying how sorry I am for your loss. Gosh, it just rips my heart in two that you're going through this right now. Anyways, I thought it might be, I might be able to cheer you up with some pictures I took. I went outside and just thought to myself, gee, Donna would just love to see these right now. I just thought it'd be perfect timing uh, for me to capture this, this world for you while you're in this period of mourning. Okay, I know, I know pictures always make me feel so much better. I hope these bring a little smile to your face the way they did mine. And I really do hope that you're doing okay. Miss you? Oh, isn't that just nice? And her voice sounds a lot like mine, so you don't have to stretch your noggin as much, okay? And last, but certainly not least. Um, Mr. Quinn, sir. Yes, Dusty. It's just Quinn. How may I help you? Well, I was wondering. You reckon I could get some of those photos? Um, I'm sorry. The photos that Jolene took for Donna? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, in a word, because, you know, I want to, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, okay? In, in a single word, I'm going to have to say no, okay? Dusty, the answer is no. Fine, man. Okay. Well, as we move along, 
I would be remiss if I did not read this little note from my brother, your boss, okay? Oh, he's my boss too, I suppose. Okay, anyway, my brother just sent me a little note and it says, team, in times like these, it can be easy to find sadness in places where we once found happiness. It can be easy to lose sight of why we even do what we do. But I want you to be certain that each and every one of your lives has purpose. And what you do with the life you have today is all that will be left for people to remember tomorrow. So if there is ever a reason to smile, a reason to be happy, a reason to be in love, lean into that more than anything else. That is just so beautiful. How did Cairo know what I needed to hear? I think we're just all gonna have to hug our loved ones a little tighter now that that man we never knew is dead. Hard work. Well, Hard work. it's just my brother Kiki. He's always been in tune with the stars, okay? I just don't know what I'd do without him. Anyway, y'all, we are just so grateful that you would take time apart from your little lives to go ahead and share your thoughts, your prayers, and your time with us, okay? It, it just means the world. And during this time, I've been with my little muffin just spending the day together, feeling her heartbeat, listening to her thoughts. And she she didn't want to give y'all an update, okay? She didn't want to give y'all an update on things. It's a bit unprofessional to be so personal and transparent in the workplace setting, okay? So I certainly want to respect her wishes, all right? I talked about that a little bit earlier. And I wrote down some notes during our time together this past week, and I just want to share some things with y'all, okay? All right. <clears throat> what I got down, empty, emptiness, empty black hole. There's nothing left inside. Oh, oh give me, give me one second, y'all. Okay, hey, hey, muffin, what's up? I need you for a second. Okay, but can it, can it wait? I need you right now. Can you please just send me a call? Okay, Muffin. Well, I, I cannot do that for you at this moment. You should know that things take time to bake in, in the oven, okay? I just got hired, and I want to do this, this thing right, okay? I love you, and I'll be right there with you in just a few moments, okay? Uh, hey, Quinn. I see what you're doing, and I just want to say that it doesn't go unnoticed. Oh, thank you so much, Flo. Okay, y'all, we're running late into the day, so I just want to go ahead and go over some of the most important notes. Um, pull them up here, okay, for this week. Is everybody uh, got a sound in their heart, mind, body, and soul? Okay, all right. Okay, here. Let's go here. Thank, uh, thank you. Yes, I'm going to pull this up right here. Okay, sometimes I got, you know, they, they help me to keep things together. Anyway, if anybody was watching social medias on the past week, y'all know how popular our pages have been, okay? All right, anybody got to see Quinn's TikTok takeover? Anybody raise a hand, show some signs? All right, well, in case you didn't know, Quinn is me and I am Quinn. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I took over the TikToks last week and uh, you know what? These little videos have been performing so well, we decided to do it again. So nice, we're doing it twice. That's right, Dusty. We're doing it twice. And of course, we can go on and on about our brand updates and all the amazing things I'm doing here. But I want to hear from y'all if that's all right. Okay, how'd that be? Flo, how, how's everything in the sales department? Well, we do have a few open conversations, as you know. And we did have a reconnect with Edward, an incredible jewelry maker that we originally met with to talk about social media planning. Unfortunately, we were unable to, they were unable to afford our services at this point in time. However, Edward did express real interest in wanting to work with us in the future. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but here's the thing, Flo, okay? Nothing in this life is too expensive, all right? If you really want something, you'll get it. Okay, everybody say this with me. Winners get what they want. When wow. they get, get what, what they, they want. want. What they want. What they want. Yes. They Winners want. get what they want. Okay. That's right, everybody. You know something? The other day I was walking down the street 
and everybody had I met had an original point of view. And I was just asking around, you know, what's the best place to get some ice cream, best place to get some ice cream. I have a very particular taste in ice cream. So I hear people's suggestions. I heard some things and didn't hear anything that was really itching my my itch, okay? Got to itch your itch sometimes. It usually makes it itch a little longer. But what I'm trying to say is I had a very specific kind of ice cream in mind. I wanted to go down the street and find this. And I went to my favorite store, okay? Went to my favorite store and I'm looking for this ice cream. It's from Benjamin and his associates up in Vermont. And I, I didn't find it, okay? I was looking for a very specific flavor. Wasn't at my favorite store. So I went next door, okay? Wasn't at that store, so I went next door. Wasn't at that store, so I went next door. You know what, it took me the whole afternoon. I had things on my calendar that just got stretched out because I was trying to find my favorite flavor of ice cream, okay? Benjamin does a really nice job and there's nothing like what he makes, okay? So I was going down, to, going down the neighborhood and you know, finally I had to go back home. But let me tell you something, when I got back home, I had my flavor of ice cream in hand, you hear? And you wanna know why? Because if you really want something, you'll get it. You know what, Quinn? We'll it's say. like I say in my books, fills, splits, and scorches. Okay, Flo, I'm going to need to go ahead and stop you right there. All right? Now, everybody can't be the star of the conference call. Okay? We only have time for about one tangent, and we've already walked that dusty road. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and close this open conversation um, and you know what, speaking of open conversations in the sales department, if we want to stay in business, we're going to need to close those conversations too. Okay. By sending them an invoice. I don't want to be on the clubhouse ready to win with Quinn talking boohooing about how we're not making any money during the season. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Dusty, let's move on to you. How's that research report going? Sir, I appreciate you for remembering who I am, oh, sure. but I have to be honest with you. I didn't have the, I don't have the report ready just yet. I've been working on it, but it just isn't ready for me to present quite yet. You get your dig. I, I get what you're saying, okay? I dig, I dig. But but what I want to tell you is that, you know, everything takes time, all right? I was just talking earlier to, to my suite about how everything takes time to bake when it's in the oven. And sometimes we get ahead of ourselves. We cause a little Hufflepuff within our little bodies if we don't take a time, take a time to breathe, okay? In fact, I want everybody to do this little exercise with me. On my three count, I want us to go ahead and take a deep little breath into our bodies, all right? One, two, three. Hey, 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 everybody. Let's all calm down. I've seen this type of thing before. I'm sure everything is going to be okay. Uh, all right. I don't even know what to do. Okay. Flo, do you have the contact book? Yes, I'm, I'm looking for his emergency contact right now. Um, I can't even secure an office without a security guard. Yes. Uh, here it is. Uh, the number is 855 five three five five six four eight and let's let's just call that number please right now okay 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 it's ringing it's ringing oh oh sh oh shoot <laughs> um it looks like that's the number to chips ahoy i reckon you ain't gonna get a human over there the cookies practically make them sales okay all right well you know what you know what, here's what we're going to do. All right. All right. There's not so much that we can really handle right now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to end this call. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and find a phone number for his family so we can get in touch with a human, find out what's going on. Okay. There's really not anything else we can do at this time. Okay. What I want y'all to do is you be safe. Okay. Be safe and keep breathing. All right. Okay. Peace. <laughs>